Alrighty, let's do this. Tut's Lane here. It's a super mellow blue trail named after the guy who opened the place in the 70s, I think. It's the main connector running along the top of the mountain and the two big lifts dump people here. So it's usually pretty crowded. I have no idea why they call it a blue. It's more mellow than some of the greens, probably because of the human obstacle course. Here's connector. I hate connector. It's pretty flat, which would be okay if you could carry speed, but like this, you gotta stop because it intersects trails and you lose all your momentum. Which means usually at some point you're gonna have to stop and skate. Ah, they have the right of way. And I'm done. Gotta skate the rest of the way, at least until I get downhill again. This trail's not for fun, it's a necessity. It's really the only way to get from the big lifts at the top of the mountain down to the uh, Summit Lodge. So it's necessary. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Now it's time to play human frogger across Vista so I can get over to the Summit Lodge and take a pee break. Here we are at the top of the Vista lift. You can also skate here up from the main street chair. It's not too bad, it's pretty close. Just a nice, easy, short green trail. And it ends with one of my favorite long right-handed sweepers on the mountain. Takes you right onto Vista. This is a nice mellow green trail. It's the widest, most mellowest trail on the mountain. Third best view on the mountain, in my opinion. It's just a little spoiled by all these picnickers that tend to hang out here, but hey, we all gotta stop somewhere, right? Vista dumps you here onto Burma Road. Probably my favorite green trail here. I may be responsible for some of these speed warning signs. Off to the right there is Yeti. It's a newer little green terrain park. It runs parallel for a bit. And then it rejoins Burma Road. Right about here. Everyone seems to think that Paradise is the best green trail, but Burma's better. It's way more winding, which means you don't have to try so hard to slow your speed down. It's a little crowded usually, but so is Paradise anyway. Love all these turns. 
Paradise always seems to be harder. It's more icy. And Burma's always softer, I think. Lift lines at the bottom are a little better as well. And here's the end at the main street chair. Here's Yeti. Real small beginner terrain park here. A couple of small rails. Little jump here at the end. Good place to practice. And then right back down onto Burma Road. <clears throat> back up here at the top of the Vista chair is Widowmaker. It's my favorite black diamond here. One of my favorite trails all around. Great place to practice your edge control. It's never crowded. I guess the name scares people off. And it's practical because depending on where you get off, there's four different trails you can get to from Widowmaker. One of those four trails is Little Gap here. Basically just a green connector, not much to talk about. It dumps you onto Burma Road, about halfway down near where Yeti dumps you. In case you're done with Black Diamonds for now. Making a left from the top of the Main Street chair. You've got Come Around Park. It's one of the more popular terrain parks here. And sorry, I just don't like terrain parks. I'm too old for this stuff. There's some really cool rails and good jumps here. It's great for watching the kids do crazy stuff when the lifts get stopped overhead. It's a nice little show. Again, not really meant for people who don't do freestyle, but here's a tour anyway. This is one of two sister trails that are both basically just short and steep connectors. They dump you down on the main street. Doesn't seem too hard, really. And then, bam, it just drops. Just gonna scrape my way down here. This might be the steepest 50 feet on the mountain. This is the sister to the chute, right next to it. It's a little mellower, but it's still pretty steep. If you're on the lifts above it, it's a, it's a great place to watch people bite it on their way down to Lower Main Street. All right, back at the top of the Main Street chair. This time we're gonna hit up Upper Main Street. It's a straight shot, Black Diamond, straight down to the Mid Mountain base. You got Barney's bumps over there on the left. If you're a skier or a masochistic snowboarder, God bless him. This is a little harder, I think, than Lower Main Street. Can't put my finger on it. I don't know if it's just rougher, icier.
skiers are always losing parts. So this is Lower Main Street. It's really the same trail as Upper Main Street. I don't know why they split it. People pick up a lot of speed here, so be careful. Watch your six. Rolling right past the mid mountain base and on to shuttle. It's just another connector. It starts at the mid mountain base and it goes down to the valley where the big lifts are. Super flat. So if you're not carrying any speed from Lower Main Street or Lazy Mile, you're going to have to skate a bit at first. But now we're good. Nothing special about this one, just one of three routes down to the valley from a couple other trails. Nice place to practice carving. And here we are, the Challenge Express six pack. This is Upper Sidewinder, up at the top of the mountain. Just super wide blue trail. And right about here, I think, is the best view on the mountain, but that's just me. They put a lot of rollers, little rolling hills on this trail. So if you love them, hit them. And if you don't, keep a sharp, sharp eye out around them and uh, you can avoid them. It's a little steep towards the end, so be careful. Don't go too fast. And I see a lot of gnarly wipeouts here, so just check your speed and don't be one of them. This is a great place to practice tight carving. It's nice and slow, but you gotta watch out for skiers taking wide turns. Case in point. I think that's my favorite 100 feet on the whole mountain. But up, but up, but up. This is supposed to be a black terrain park, but I don't know. I think someone forgot to build some features. It's pretty much just a straight shot down to the lift. I 
This is an awesome run. It goes parallel to Upper and Lower Main Street, so it's pretty steep. It's probably probably the most difficult blue trail here, in my opinion. It's a good challenge. It's a great trail for practicing some high-speed carving. I'm always tempted to ride the turns wide and fast, but those trees get awful close, man. And we are back on Lower Main Street, which we will take to the chairlift. Lazy mile. It's not lazy, and it's not a mile, but it is a pretty easy blue trail when it's not packed with Jerry's. Problem is the top of Blue Mountain, it's really a ridge, and lazy mile starts at a low point, so it kind of funnels everyone into it. So it's usually full of warm bodies just kind of going with the flow where gravity takes them. I'd probably avoid it on a holiday weekend like this, but it's a really great trail off peak. You can go straight here and hit up lower sidewinder, which is always my favorite. Or you can get the falls if you're going fast enough to get over the hill and go down that. Or turn left and just stay with Lazy Mile all the way down to the Main Street chair. Dun, dun. Razor's Edge. One of the two big ones that I swore I would never attempt when I was first starting. And here we are. Don't even try this on a snowboard. You don't like scraping. We're going 60 miles an hour out of control. All right, the first part's the hardest. Now it levels out for some great high-speed carving. Off to the right there, you'll see Razorback. Just when you think you're done, you've made it. Whee! I love this drop. That last sudden drop is my favorite part. 
here's that side trail, Razorback. It's a good place to scrub off some speed if you need to, and just hooks around and dumps you right back onto Razor's Edge. This is one of the more accurately named trails here. Pretty similar to Razor's Edge. A lot of scraping. Let's do a speed run here. All right, that's fast enough. All right, the bottom of Challenge intersects with the Lazy Mile and Upper Sidewinder. Here it falls, well named, real steep. Real short. Love that one. All right, back up at the top of the mountain. This is the Mac Daddy Terrain Park on the mountain. Again, I don't really do jumps or rails, so this is going to be an exercise in dodging obstacles. Ooh, creep. I'm going as slow as I dare, so y'all can get a good view of the features here, in case that's your thing. Nightmare dumps you onto Dreamweaver here, which used to be a nice blue trail, but as you can see, they converted it to another awesome terrain park. You can also get here from Paradise if it's easier for you, but if you can handle Dreamweaver, whoop, not doing that, then you can handle Nightmare. They're pretty comparable in size and scope. Now on to home stretch. Just another green connector. Takes you from Paradise or, or Dreamweaver back down to the valley lifts. Not much to say. Some good spots for side hits to keep a lookout for them. Here's the newest trail, Freefall. It's labeled as a black and the entrance is littered with signs, expert only and warning ungroomed terrain. But it looks like it should be a green. It's really easy. I'll head over to the trees here. 
for a good view. I think it's the second best view in the mountain. I wouldn't mind pulling over here in the woods, sit down and have lunch, drink a beer. might be wondering why it's black if it's so easy. Well, boom, here it is. This is steep and it's icy and ungroomed. Whoop. And depending on how groomed it is, it's gonna have tons of moguls on it. It's like a minefield. You can get around it on the side, but there's a steep drop off, so you don't have much room. It's like it's like 80% mellow green and 20% the hardest single black on the mountain. Certainly not boring. And here we are, dumps you onto paradise. Back to safety. And here we are back at the top of the mountain. Last but not least, paradise. It's everybody but me's favorite green trail. It's the longest trail on the mountain by far. It's usually pretty crowded with beginners, which is to be expected. I don't like it as much as Burma because it gets a lot of sun exposure, as you can see, and it's higher up in elevation. So it gets real icy when the sun goes down. It's also a little harder for newbies because it's got some turns, but not as many as Burma. So you pick up a lot of speed before you know it if you're first timer so I'd recommend Burma before I did Paradise. That's just me though. I know a lot of people like this best. down there on the right that's where free fall dumps you out and it's just a nice easy road down to home stretch and back to the lifts even if you're not a beginner you start feeling the burn a little bit by the end this is a, a long trail you'll be in shape in no time And that's it. That's my thoughts on Blue Mountain. Thanks for watching.